I'm so sick of studying. What's on TV? <sighs> I just don't understand the reason behind this. I did exactly what I learned in medical school. But nothing seems to be working. Maybe I can help. You? What could you possibly do to help? I'm a doctor for crying out loud, and I don't know what to do. May I look at her chart, please? Go ahead, stranger. It'll only help you if you're a wizard. I'm no wizard. I use my specialist knowledge and clinical experience to form a safe drug plan for individual patient needs. If that makes me a wizard, you can call me Gandalf. What are you? I'm a hospital pharmacist. Shouldn't you be in the basement counting pills? Actually, I'm not involved in the drug dispensary. I make rounds with other healthcare professionals, and together we treat the patient. I look at drug interactions and potential side effects of drugs. I guess you can call me the rock star pharmacy. Mm, you learned all of this in two years of community college? Fortunately, it's a four-year university program. Can you give me the patient's history? Of course. Tragically, the patient is a 35-year-old female suffering from a coma after being hit by a train. Five years previously, she was possessed by her evil twin sister. And three years ago, she fell in a mine shaft and was trapped in there for four days with a broken leg. Surprising, all this happened during Sweeps Week. Other than that, she appears to be healthy. Thank you. I see in the patient's chart she's allergic to the drug Apo Anticoma. Yes, she is. That's why we put her on Wakeo instead. But it doesn't appear to be working. No. And you also have her on the antidepressant Smilacin? Yes. We found out, she found out before the accident that her infant son was switched at birth at age 14 years in one summer. And you can imagine how she feels. Yeah. <gasps> Doctor! There's a drug interaction issue! The antidepressant she's on an is antagonist to Wakeo, which means Wakeo has no effect on her brain. The drug Rivalin works with her antidepressant and should wake her up. Whoa, you do know your stuff, Gando. Let's try it. Together we can make this patient better. Yes. Thank you, Doctor. I guess you could say it was magic. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling, Sarah? Any dizziness? Later we should get together and talk about the drugs you're on. Make sure you take them properly. No, oh, I feel great. Who are you? I'm Sally, the hospital pharmacist. Welcome back to The Reflection. Today we're talking about your health, and specifically looking at the healthcare professionals you'll come in contact with when you go to your hospital. One of these professionals is the hospital pharmacist. Joining us today is Jennifer. Let's welcome Jennifer. Hi everyone, thanks for coming. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm so happy to be here today. Yes. It's great to have you. Thank you. Now Jen, I've heard about hospital pharmacists, but I'm not really sure what you guys do. I love talking to my community pharmacist. But what is it that you guys do specifically? Well, most people think that hospital pharmacists, just like any other pharmacist, just sits around and counts pills. But that's not true for any pharmacy profession. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> My daily routine usually involves going around with other healthcare, healthcare professionals and looking at dosing and how efficiently the medication is working for each patient. Sounds tough. It can be at times, there are some complexing issues, but we get through them by putting together our interprofessional skills. Wow, I'm very impressed. <laughs> Another thing that a hospital pharmacist is involved in is developing the formula for the hospital. So we get to decide which drugs we want to keep in the hospital and help the doctors familiarize themselves with the drugs that we're going to be using, so they're always pres prescribing the same kind, so there's no confusion. That's interesting. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last time I was in the hospital, they gave me something in a liquid form that I normally would get in a pill form. So do you know what that would be about? Did you have trouble swallowing? I did, actually. Okay, what we do is we try to get the dosage form of the medication, what's going to be best to help the patient. So in your case, we compounded that drug into a liquid form so you could swallow it better and help, your, help you get the medicine even though you were having trouble taking tablets. Compounding. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, we do a lot of that in the hospital just to help people get the dosage for that they need that will better help their life. So, did you see that actually with my last night? No, we're so good. I just need a hospital pharmacist. <laughs> 32 year old patient is under a final pain. CBC was unremarkable. Go. Uh, infection? Uh, 
Um, vasculitis? Allergy? Can't be vasculitis. It's never vasculitis. Plus, there's no signs. Symptoms don't fit. Come oh. on, people. Um, wait, actually, there can't be any allergies because there's no sign of allergy. Well, good. I thought she was sick. Um, should I start doing up to discharge papers? Uh, infection. It fits the symptoms. We should treat with a broad spectrum antibiotic. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, let's get on it. Do we still see an MRI? House, that patient can't be on that medication. They have repressed kidney function. You're a pharmacist. Fill the order. I know I'm a pharmacist, but that patient still can't be on that medication. I suggest something else. Who suggested the antibiotics? I can't remember. It was her. Uh, it was me. I thought it fit the symptoms. The pharmacist believes that there's a problem with your medication. Apparently she thinks she went to med school and wants to prescribe her own treatment. Well, it might not work. Yeah, another medicine. With that said, I guess you're off the case. It's true what they see. Apparently pharmacists are the drug experts. I still can't process this order. I think changing the medication to a more targeted antibiotic will be the right choice for this patient. Okay, we'll go with that. A pharmacist, you're hired. Go help them. Well, what are you waiting for? Go, start the treatment. Monitor the patient. This is a hospital. Sometimes we actually treat patients. I guess we'll put the patient on Zithromax. It's a more targeted antibiotic, and it'll, it will monitor the drugs. Mm -hmm. That's what they say about hospital pharmacists. They really do know their stuff. Shut up and go help the patient. Yes, wow, I never thought about hospital pharmacy in that way. It sounds like a really cool profession. Maybe I'll think about applying to pharmacy school now.